We've seen a lot of you asking for part two of this series, so here it is. In part one, we covered the basics of using an event logger. Now, we're going deeper, looking at dumping the server and exploring client Lua files. This will give us more insight into how scripts function and what we can manipulate. Let's get into it. Load into a server you play and find a way to make money. For my case, it's collecting this white powder. You can use the event logger to find out the resource name the job uses. But this is not 100% successful since some triggers might not have their resource name in them. Or they go through an anti-cheat, like in my case. As you can see here, we got the trigger. And we can see that the resource name should be Trap and Drugs. So I dump the server and open the folder with Visual Studio Code. And as you can see, I found a folder named Trap and Drugs. Now let's see the client Lua files. Now let's search for collect. So let's analyze this code. We can see that first of all, the script gets our coordinates. After that, it checks if we are at the coordinates and if we are not close enough, then it won't give us the white powder. Also, we can see that the cooldown is 2000, which is in milliseconds, and that's two seconds. So since this has a cooldown on it and we have to be at the specific coordinates, what we can do in this case is we make a script that teleports to that specific place where we have to be and a loop which triggers the event every two seconds. Now let's put the trigger into phase menu. Let's load the custom triggers and simulate the drug resource. Enter the resource name. For us, it will be trappin underscore drugs. Once that's done, just press enter to execute. And as you can see, we get the white powder. And when I try executing the trigger multiple times, I won't get it because of the two second cooldown the resource checks for. But what you can do is you can just loop this trigger every two seconds and instead of putting work into this server and pressing E each time like everybody else, you can do it automatically. I hope I teach you something new today. It's always better to check the client Lua's before actually executing the trigger and getting yourself banned. Because if the server would see that I'm not at the location, they could easily log it or ban you instantly. Thank you for watching and goodbye.